We have an update now on our Sun News Flash. The story is just breaking in Toronto. Two more Rob Ford staffers are out. The Toronto Mayor's team has now lost five members in the span of just one week. This is drug allegations swirl around the mayor. The Sun News can now confirm that Ford's policy advisor, Brian Johnson, has quit. The mayor has also lost his executive assistant. For more on this breaking news story, we check in with Alexandra Gunn. She is in our Toronto newsroom. So, Alex, uh, stunning developments. What can you tell us about these? latest departures. Shocking details, Sneha. We just uh, received confirmation that these two uh, Mayor Rob Ford staffers have resigned. It's it's Brian Johnson and Kia Najati, and both have stepped down. We actually just saw in the Sun News cameras were just there as Brian Johnson left the City Hall. He was walking through the parkade, and he wouldn't speak to reporters as they chased him out to his car, but he, car, but he did, in fact, end up speaking to them and explaining why he left. Listen to this. Is there anything you want to say to the mayor as you leave? Wish him all the best with his, uh, him and the administration. Do you think the mayor can recover from this? It's not up for me to comment on. Why are you choosing to leave right now, though? Three other staff have departed in the last week. Timing is right for me. What changed? Other things I'd like to move on to. You've worked in this office for quite a while now. Can you see the mayor recovering from this? He's recovered from a lot of things. Okay. And you were just looking at pictures of Brian Johnson. He has stepped down, resigning from Toronto Mayor Ford's office. We have also heard of Kian Ajadian, who has also resigned as well. The two staffers who have stepped down today amidst allegations that allegedly Toronto Mayor Rob Ford was smoking crack cocaine in a video. Here you're looking at images of Kian Ajadian there. He has also resigned. We are hoping to get confirmation on why they are stepping down today. It's unclear as to why two more staffers from Toronto Mayor Ron Ford's office are resigning at this point in time. He is literally hemorrhaging staff members. Yet again, more staff members are resigning. We did hear from Toronto Mayor Rob Ford's brother, Doug, Doug Ford Sneha. He has spoken out amidst these allegations, but he's saying they're completely false and that the Toronto Star doesn't have any legs to stand on. Listen to Doug Ford. They were wrong yesterday, they're wrong today, they'll be wrong tomorrow. But this has been going on, folks, from the time uh, Rob Ford won the uh, uh, largest majority in Canadian history, delivered by the people. It's not the media that uh, makes the determination if Rob stays in office. We live in a democracy. It's up to the people. The quicker we get to this election, the better it is for the people. And we've also been hearing from Ontario Premier Kathleen Wynne. She's spoken out on the alleged video and she's saying that this is interrupting City Hall business. Kathleen Wynne has said, and I quote, she knows something is happening. She said that I'm worried and monitoring as appropriate and will be involved. So it seems Kathleen Wynne may in fact have to step in in this very instance. We've also heard from Mark Tui, who has been tweeting today. He's saying now's not a good time for him to go and pick up his stuff from the office. He he was let go on Friday. So it's Neha, it has been a very busy week in the mayor's office, and it's safe to say it's crisis time there as well. Yeah, certainly is. And uh, at this point, just quickly, Alex, mm -hmm. do we know if the mayor is going to be speaking about these uh, latest resignations? We are expecting to hear from him later this afternoon, Sneha. We don't know exactly if he will be providing uh, a reasoning, what exactly he will say. If he will, in fact, address the video, that's not clear either. But we are expecting to hear from him. And, of course, Sun News Network's cameras will be there for that. All right. Thank you, Alex. You're welcome. That is Alexander Gunn in our Toronto newsroom.